Hello and welcome everyone to this video tutorial. My name is Kumar Saurabh. In this video, we will learn about the current timestamp function, its syntax and explore different examples to understand its uses. Poetry SQL provides this function to work with timestamps, making it easier to manage time-related data. So let's get started. Before we dive into examples, let's understand the syntax of current timestamp function. The basic syntax is select current timestamp. This query will return the current date and time in a format year, month, date, hour, minute, and second. Now let's take a basic example of using current timestamp. Open your PostgreSQL client or GUI tool like pgadmin, create a new query or open an existing one, type in the following query and execute it. Select current timestamp. As you can see, the function returns the current date and time with a milliseconds. The current timestamp function is often used to store the current time in table column. This can be helpful for recording when a particular event occurs. Let's create a new table for demonstration purpose. The table name is event log with a column event id, event name and event time. Now let's insert some data into the table event log with the current timestamp. After inserting the data, retrieve the data from the table. Now the table contains the event information along with the timestamp of when it occurred. PostgreSQL allows you to work with timestamps in different time zones using an add time zone construct. Let's say we have a user from New York and we want to store their registration time in the database with New York's time zone. First, let's set the default time zone for our session to New York. To set the time zone, type the command set time zone, then specify the name of the time zone, America slash New York. Now let's insert the event into table again, but this time using current timestamp with the time zone conversion. Retrieve the data from the table. As you can see, the second row has the timestamp converted to New York time zone. You have learned how to use a PostgreSQL current timestamp function with its syntax and various examples. Now you can easily work with the timestamps and store them in your database. So at last, I want to say don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and thank you.